We are back. Yes, sir. How's my hair? Pretty long. Anyways, we got some got some surprises for everybody. Not the golf cart. Definitely not the golf cart. Definitely not the golf cart. More like Honda boys. Honda boys. Check it out. Ooh. 2000 DX. 101,000 miles on it. So, backstory on this guy. Um, used to be my auntie's and my grandma and grandpa then bought it for her up in Washington when she was going to college. And she came back home, she brought it with her and gave it back to my grandparents. And ever since then, I've wanted the damn thing. And this was like back in high school. Well, so that was a while ago. It's not in the condition that it used to be, that's for damn sure. But um, it don't matter, the day finally came, my grandpa told me, I can have it. So I took it. But yeah, so pretty much this thing is only 101,000 miles because um, it was just a point A to point B kind of car. He, my grandpa used it just to take the dogs to the park and go walking. So the inside is pretty bust up boys, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. We got the we got the vacuum ready to go, so we're gonna hit that up today. But let me give you guys some B-roll real quick. Get ready. I forgot to mention the reason he finally gave it up is because he had this parked on the street um, at his place and one of the tree branches that he parked under fell on top of the hood. Pretty good size dent. Pretty good size dent. I don't know if this crack is a part of that, but that's there too um insurance wasn't gonna take care of it he said and he would have had to get it claimed through city and county and ain't nobody want to go through that process so he was actually gonna just call a tow company to take it away for free i'm here i'll take it i'll take it so now it's in my garage yeah, we brought it home yesterday, but um, just gave it a quick power wash on the outside yesterday. So now I'm going to rip out the interior and vacuum up all this dog hair. <sighs> Waited for this for so long. If you guys have any um, um, ideas of what we should do to this guy... Let me know, because I have no clue about anything when it comes to Hondas. So, the only thing I've bought so far was uh, a mesh grill. The basic mesh grill that everybody has these days. I'm debating on getting um, some solid piece wheels, or if I'm just going to go buy some new hubcaps. I don't know, but main goal is to get the paint somewhat looking good again. Oh yeah, this thing was previously painted um, by Mako. It's all right, but I mean, there's some runs and shit, but it's better than it was, that's for sure. 
but um it's been sitting out for a while so we gotta hit it with some compound and all that but yeah main goal i just want to get it to a clean daily state so um yeah we're just gonna start by making it look nice cleaning up the interior and making it not smell like dog anymore all right let me rip out the interior be right back boys yes sir hey guys i didn't want to spend too much time fucking doing that because that was not fun uh yeah we'll see how these turn out when they're all dried out but either way i did something that water was hella dirty yeah only got to do the seats today i didn't get to hit the carpet or anything like that but i did vacuum wipe down whatever i could so yeah if you guys know where i can find like specific parts for this thing let me know i need a new one of those things if not i need a whole door panel i also need a new knob for my ac fan uh i need a new one of these guys Rawr. oh check this out mako paint job baby how's that how did that pass quality control what the frick damn man as far as rust goes there's not much rust on this thing except for here another one right there small one right there other than that that's pretty much it for the rust to be honest so we're gonna hit the carpet tomorrow i'll probably film that um after that can work on the outside give it a light compounding you know what i'm saying coat of wax all right check back after bye so it's been a couple days already i got the car back together after cleaning the carpet and all that past couple days i took it to work already test it out so yeah i mean uh it's cleaner than it was that's for sure but it ain't brand new mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah um i got some stuff in the mail so i'll show you i'll show you what's up real quick got a dash cover mm-hmm and just some sheepy carpets or carpet mats from Costco. Um, I need a knob. If anyone knows where I can find a knob, that's a toughie. Also, oof, oof. What else? What else did I order? Oh, ooh, these. Bye bye. Um, just today I picked up some 15 inch steelies cause I got some 15 inch caps that I'm going to be running instead of this setup. So these are 14s, but the new caps that I got are, uh, 15 OEM. Yes, sir. So these tires are all shot anyway. So I figure I might as well just get the tire set up going at the tires and wheels. So I picked up the steelies for like 40 bucks. And I got the caps for like 150 for all four brand new OEM Honda parts. So yeah, so I just gotta grab some tires, but I'm not gonna worry about that. That ain't a problem. I figured I'd go that route because um, finding SIs these days is way too hard and these caps were available. So <laughs> might as well go that route. At least it looks the same. It's cheaper. Can't go wrong. Shout out to Garrett for showing me those caps, though. That's for damn sure. Also, maybe one day we'll change this guy out. Type R. Oh, and, and, speaking of this Type R grill. Yeah, I got that. Tried putting it in. Fitment was straight shit. Couldn't put it on, so we just left the stock one. But yeah, um, let me go throw all this in real quick and then we'll be right back. Uh. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. 
Just a little something to protect the dash a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Got those guys in as well. Like I said, I wanna reinforce these door panels before I put it back in. So maybe I can hop on that this weekend or something. Pretty simple, I'm probably not gonna film that cause that's just resin, fiberglass, resin, done, you know? Yeah. Interior's coming along, got the tunes right there. This guy is broken. Look at that. Nice. I I think it would be pretty funny if I get like a little single din flip out, you know, of its time, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot, that's right. Let me go show you guys the Steelies real quick, and then we'll end the video. Say goodbye to these bad boys, 14s. Oh, yeah, the, uh, another reason why I'm not going keeping the 14s anymore. For one, a set of these guys all scratched up and used is like 100 bucks. So, frick that, I might as well just... Grab some fresh, brand new 15 ones and uh, change up the look entirely. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna tell you what they are just yet. The day I put them on is when you'll know what they are. Alrighty. Slowly, I'm gonna start buying the parts for the manual swap. Um, right now, Master cylinder and pedals are like the easiest things to find. Other than that, I have to still source everything or wait for something to pop up. And I'm still not sure what I even need. Garrett is the one that knows everything because I was never a Honda boy, but now I am. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's go show you those uh, steelies real quick. Okay, there they are. Fifteen inch four by one hundreds off a two thousand six Ion. I got them for a deal, so can't complain. I already scrubbed them up, but we're just gonna hit them with a little semi gloss. They're going to be hidden, but since they're already off, might as well. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned. We got a lot in store for this car. This golf cart, on the other hand, I don't know, back burner. Yep, so uh, stay tuned. This is the new project that I really want to get go in get it settled already because uh i think it'd be a cool little daily to be driving around you know what i'm saying yeah so yeah just stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys see you on the next one